Radio Rahim here with Chris Algieri. You're fighting on the undercard of uh, Daniel Jacobs and Peter Quillen. Here in Brooklyn, you're not far from home either. This is the Battle of Brooklyn for these two, but what about you? How do you feel about fighting at home, and uh, can you claim Brooklyn? I think I can at this point. You know, bar the Barclays has become like my second home here. Um, I come here a lot for, for you know, various sporting events and shows and whatnot. Fourth year, had some of my best performances. So uh, I would say this is my backyard now. You know, last time I guess we were in your backyard, you had uh, Amir Khan in the ring against you. People were surprised that you did well. You know, obviously you know what you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. What is it that you bring that can get you to that elite level, that get you those those wins like uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao or uh, Amir Khan to take Chris Algieri where he wants to go? You know, really, it's my potential. You know, I've got um, a lot more growing to do. I'm still young in my career. I'm young in life. Um, I'm learning a lot under John David Jackson right now. You know, still working hard with Keith Trimble here on Long Island. So, um, you know, the potential is, is, is there, and there's just a lot of room to grow. So the next couple months and years are going to be uh, really fruitful for Team Algieri. You've shown that you have boxing skills. you got technique. Um, power may be something that needs to be brought to your game. Uh, John David Jackson has obviously got Kovalev. He's known to bring power to a guy's game. Is that something that he's folding into your game? And, and what else is he bringing to the table? You know, I think we showed that in the con fight. You know, we buzzed him a couple times, hurt him to the body, uh, was physically strong at welterweight, um, brought a different, more aggressive style. So, you know, I think mel melding what you said, that boxing style with my more aggressive now um, combination punching style and, 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 and really digging down and setting on shots uh, is really just going to complete me as a fighter in terms of my style. Well, we know that uh, Floyd Mayweather's left the game, technically. Uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao intends to leave after a fight, so that leaves that 47 division kind of wide open. There's no crowned kings. Who do you see that could, you know, get in there with you, that you could beat, that could get you in line to maybe talk about being the king at 47? What does it take? You know, right now I just got to focus on Eric Bonet. You know, I got to get through Saturday night. Um, you know, he's a tough guy. He comes to fight. He's scrappy. So uh, I got to get this win. And then uh, 2016 is going to be a wide open year. Like you said, there's an era coming to an end. And uh, there's a new welterweight king that's, that's, that's emerging. And we all got to fight and beat each other. And, and whoever is left standing is, is going to be the man. Bonet can be called a veteran. He's scrappy. He's a tough guy. He's been in a lot of fights. With you saying yourself that, you know, you're still young, still coming up, how do you best a guy like that? Where are your advantages? You know, I'm, I've always been the guy who's got less experience, you know, um, you know, so far in, in the big fights of my career. You know, I actually have more fights than somebody for the first time, in, I think, maybe in my last 10 fights, honestly. Um, so, you know, I have, the, I have the experience advantage when it comes to big fights, you know, fighting in the Barclays, fighting on these big lights, fighting on TV. Um, so if he has a little deer in headlights moment, um, you know, that, that can open up a lot of opportunities for myself. So I got to go out there and, and take advantage of, of my experience skill set and, um, you know, to overcome his. And lastly, obviously you've got that new trainer. There was a lot made of your trainer with Pacquiao and all that went on the corner. I don't have to remind you. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from that experience and being in such a bright spotlight so early in your career and now kind of getting knocked back down, having to work your way up? Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that journey and, and what it meant to you mentally. You know, I spent a lot of my career getting thrown into situations, you know, and, and I've been the guy who's not afraid to take, you know, chances when there's opportunities. Um, it's helped in some situations. I think, you know, ultimately, though, I think it's been positive throughout. Um, I learned quite a bit from, from the whole Pacquiao experience. Experience. I don't even call it the, the fight. It's the whole experience leading up to it. Um, and I've just brought that to be in a much more comfortable and calm position going into big fights. You know, I felt very calm in the, calm, the con fight, and I'm feeling even calmer now you know, going into December 5th. All right, Chris Algieri, Radio Rahe with Chris Algieri. Good luck Saturday night at the Barclays Center.